Why is understanding company cultural fit so critical when weighing a decision to transition from a law firm to an in-house position? In many respects, you will see a uh, sort of a, a, sh a shrinking, if you will, of the environment. Um, it's it's going to be a lot smaller. There are going to be fewer people doing what it is that you do than in a you know a big law firm setting. So, at that stage, you know you're going to know fairly quickly on whether or not substantively you have a match. Whether someone you know really can perform in the way that you know a particular company is looking for a lawyer to perform. Now maybe more importantly uh, is the question of whether or not longer term that context, that environment is one that will be personally satisfying and that comes from the idea of can you develop, maintain, you know, really extend per deep personal relationships and ones that, you know, will benefit individuals from a mentoring, from a substantive, from a, you know, a personal perspective. What about the softer skills such as engaging with boards of directors and uh, company executives as well as you know, potential clients? I think that law firms can certainly assist younger lawyers in putting them in those scenarios, um, helping them experience that type of context, you know, putting them in boardrooms, uh, having them attend executive meetings, um, really enabling them to develop that part of their, you know, sort of professional existence. However, at the end of the day, there are people that I think just excel at that, and there are those that don't. And those that excel at it, you know, really do find themselves, you know, at the forefront of whether it be law firm practices, uh, you know, in many respects, general counsels in, you know, large companies have an extremely difficult, sophisticated role that requires them to manage a lot of personalities, handle difficult situations, and to be able to do so in a manner that, you know, basically keeps everybody as happy as possible.